Once you set up any conversion action inside of Google AdWords to track conversions, you need to come over and add it through Google Tag Manager so it's also connected with Google Analytics to have that other layer of data and we want that. So let me show you real quickly how you can do that. If you set up Google Tag Manager like I told you to do in module one setting up your foundation, here's how easy it is. Now, if we didn't have this option of using Google Tag Manager, which I just showed you in the previous lesson when we set up the conversion action inside of Google AdWords, it gave us that code. Now, if we took that entire code and we pasted it into the top of our thank you page, for example, if we were tracking conversions for opt-ins on a campaign in AdWords, and we'll say we're giving away a free video series, whatever the thank you page that loads after that landing page for the free video series is submitted when they successfully opt in, on that thank you page, that's where we put the tracking code for that conversion we set up. So whatever the code is that Google AdWords gave us, we'd copy and paste the whole thing into the HTML header of that page. And then every time the page loads, it communicates with Google AdWords. And of course it adds the conversion count that a conversion happened. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go through Google Tag Manager. And we're not gonna have to copy and use all that code. I'm gonna show you, we just need a couple pieces of that code in order to do the same thing and connect all of the conversion data that we set up in AdWords also through Google Analytics. Now we need to do this step I'm gonna show you separately. Every time you set up a new conversion tracker, new conversion action inside of your Google AdWords account, you're gonna need to come and do this through Google Tag Manager. It's quick, it's not that complicated. Uh, I wish there was some automated way that Google would make it happen automatically, it doesn't. But let me just show you, it's not that difficult. So what you wanna do is you wanna open your Google Tag Manager account, log into it, maybe have it in one browser window or tab, and log into Google AdWords and have it in other, cause you're gonna jump back between the two and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So basically I'm logged into the sample Google Tag Manager account, the dummy account I set up when I showed you uh, in module one. I'm gonna click add a new tag. Under choose product, we're gonna click the second one, Google AdWords. We have two tag types, conversion tracking and remarketing. We're gonna click the first one, conversion tracking. Now it's asking us for a couple pieces of data. We only need to worry about the top two. The third one, conversion value. If you are tracking that profit value amount that I mentioned in AdWords, then this is where you'd put it. In other words, if what this thing is actually tracking in this example is you're selling something for $100, it costs you 50, it's $50 profit, you'd put the profit amount here. So in Google AdWords, I'm sorry, in Google Analytics, which is what this is connecting to, you'd also see those values. That's what this is all connecting with through Google Tag Manager. It's so it shows up in Google Analytics. Okay, so we need to add these in here for these different tags. So we need the conversion ID and the conversion label, those two things. We jump back to AdWords and we see what we just set up, OpFid3 opt-in, we click that. We can see the options it's set for. Now down at the bottom, we see the code that it gives us to track this conversion tracking. All we need here is we don't need to mess with all the code. You look for the first thing, conversion ID, it's a long number. We right click that, copy to the clipboard, jump back to Tag Manager, click inside this first form, conversion ID. We copy and paste it. We jump back to AdWords. We look for conversion label. Here it is, that long string of text. Right click to copy it or to select it, copy it. Then we jump back to Tag Manager, click in the second form space, right click, paste it. Of course, I'm using a Mac. Your mouse and setup may be different for your right clicks and copy and paste, but you're basically copying and pasting from AdWords and copying and pasting it. Uh, inside of Tag Manager. Once we've done those two, if we're not gonna use the value for a profit amount, if we're not gonna track that, we're not worried about it. In this case, it's an opt-in, we can ignore it. We click Continue. So we're gonna click Fire on some pages. Then it brings us up and says, Choose your pages. So we're gonna name this, Thank You, and then the number one, if this is like our first thank you page. Now, if you're gonna run a bunch of different landing pages, which you probably will end up doing with AdWords to use different types of keywords and campaigns, for every different type of landing page you have, I suggest you connect that landing page with its own thank you page. If you're loading all the same thank you pages, let's say you're testing 10 different landing pages with minor variations because of the keywords and you wanna get you know, those high quality scores. If you're testing those different thank you, I'm sorry, those different landing pages, have each one have its own thank you page that's connected to it. 
So if you're gonna you know, test different landing pages, have each one have its own thank you page. So if you're gonna have landing page one, two, three, have each one connected with thank you page one, two, and three. Now you could technically use the same thank you page with different landing pages, but I always say more data is better than less data and it'll help with your Google AdWords and your overall data when you track it and you're managing things. So it's not complicated. Just duplicate the same thank you page, but just name it thank you page one, two, three, so it has its own web page, its own URL, so everything's separate. But let's call this thank you page one. So we're gonna, under variable here, we're gonna put it on page URL. It has other options, but put it on URL. For operation, we wanna put this on ends with, because we want, whatever the URL ends with. For value, we're gonna blank that out. It had like a little period and asterisk. We're gonna put in slash and then whatever the name of this actual web page is on the URL. So if this is thank you one, then we're gonna put thank you one. If it's thank you one dot HTM or HTML, or whatever else, then we're, you spell it all out here. But whatever this actual page is named, whatever the URL path is, you don't have to put in your domain or www. It's just whatever it ends with. So if it ends with thank you one, then you want to put that in here. So you name it, variables page URL, operation is ends with, value is whatever comes after the slash for what the page is called. Then you're going to click save. And then when that's done, up here, you'll notice you need to publish because you added this tag change. You added this new tag. You always have to publish it or it won't become active. So you click publish and then you click publish now. And we've added that tag. So that's how you add that specific new tag. And then we can go and create a new tag and start all over to add other conversion actions. But that's what you want to do after you set up each new conversion action inside of AdWords. You want to come over to Google Tag Manager and make sure you also add it. So it's also tracking it inside with all your Google Analytics data, which you want. It's always good to have that extra layer of data, as well as you can look at Google Analytics for all your activity, not only from AdWords, but from SEO, Facebook campaigns, social media, and any other campaigns. So we'll have the data in all those different areas. But the reason why we definitely want to have it in AdWords too is because we'll make decisions in AdWords and use those controls and settings specific to AdWords. So you definitely want to have it in both. So ultimately, by doing this, we'll have our data in three places. Inside AdWords, we'll have conversion tracking by campaign, by keyword. Inside Analytics, we'll also have it there inside Google Analytics. And then ultimately, you'll have it in your shopping cart system or wherever you're tracking your opt-ins uh, as well as your sales. So we'll have it in three different layers so we can always use those to compare and make sure we're getting accurate data. And sometimes we will have data that's kind of different across those three, but ultimately the shopping cart account will show us uh, where the real activity is that has the value, especially for sales and customers but also for opt-ins, we can look there and see if there's duplicate opt-ins and other things like that. But this is what you need to do after you set up each new conversion action inside AdWords. You need to jump over to Google Tag Manager and set up a separate tag and then publish it.